All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, we wrong. have coming up now our first kickboxing title fight of the evening. We were hoping that Let me hear it, everybody. This is, like I said, the first title fight of the evening. Please bring me to the blue corner, representing Apex Martial Arts, Aiden Chester. I think we were hoping with the, uh, with the, uh, Mission changeover that the judging would get a little bit better, but it seems like it's actually gotten a little worse. That was horrible. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, I, 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 I can't. I'm not taking nothing away from Brennan Rons. He is a soldier. He went in there and he displaced. And but we're not now, saying it wasn't a close fight either. But I think it that, was a close fight. I just, I, uh, I'm just gonna stand the hush hush. Because these guys will be calling my fight soon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to make any enemies out here. I got enough already. By the way, you know I fought two weeks ago, didn't you? Yep, yes sir. You had your successful in-ring return. Yeah, it felt great, man. Now, felt please twice, right? bring me to About the red times. corner, representing Harris and Kobo Muay Thai, Omir. Omiyo Hassan! Let me say something about Omir Hassan. This kid is a hard worker, very respectful. He, you know, on his last fight, he was supposed to fight against an opponent who actually got hurt in a locker room, who wound up getting sick, and he gave nothing but respect. And he came out, and you know, he, he he's just a really good, really good guy, man. I, I respect him. As a fighter, as a person, you know, he's a great guy, man. Representing Sudan and Stephen Koble, Muay Thai. Stephen Koble, somebody who's very well respected around these parts. He's gonna be joined for this uh, and for the I'm title fight And I'm back in here. the booth for the title fight. Fresh off the plane from Florida to see that North Carolina's taking 10 steps back with the commission again. Ah, yeah, so you agree with that last Oh, decision. yeah, no, I publicly told the judges that they kind of suck at their job, and I don't care who hears it right now, because that's how I got my first job with the IKF as a judge, is that I publicly said, hey, that was crap judging. Hey, first fight's underway. <laughs> Omer Hassan. That's my two cents for the public. Uh, Omer Hassan training under Stephen Koble. Uh, Very crafty veteran of the MMA game. Aiden Chester, scrappy kid. I've seen around the scene come up for a while now out of Don Rogers' promotion. Triangle kickboxing, he runs a lot of PKBs. Yeah, uh, Omar Hassan, we talk about how dangerous he is with the switch kicks and with that lead leg. Ooh, his kick game. Yeah, his, his body kicks especially are uh, very, very, very fast. Just very fluid, doesn't even think, just lets him go. And that was one thing I talked to Stephen Kobo about before this. They said they spent a lot of time working boxing just because Omar's kicks are so fluid. Right there, you're starting to see level changes, body, head, head, body from Omar pushing Aiden back. Aiden known for being a power puncher, wondering how that could oh. carry over for five rounds. Nice kick there from Omar. Omar using some flashy kicks to keep him at bay. Ooh, and a head kick. There's another. Spinning heel kick. Omar just looks so fluid and composed in there. You can't tell if he's like in a fight or if he's just like playing Xbox. He looks like he's just playing Xbox, man. He's on UFC 3 stand and bang mode right now, and he's just cruising. Good body kick. Backing up Aiden with the pressure of the body to the head again, keeping him in the ropes. Aiden Chester trying to use the clinch to hang out. Homer's kick game just always ready to go. Aiden walks into a head kick. Ooh, big overhand from Aiden. Stiff jab, double oh. up kick right to the groin. Tries to kick across the thigh. Ends up getting the, the plastic sound of that yeah, cup getting that, hit. It's just something uh, you can't un unhear. And they're back in action. Omar Hassan is laying on some strikes here at the end of the first. 
Looks like we have uh, quite a few people commenting about the questionable judging of the evening. Yes, we had quite a few comments. About if people that don't as well. know, the North Carolina Boxing Commission did dissolve a little bit recently, so I guess that they're just kind of scraping from the bottom of the barrel for judges right now. Craigslist ads, I think. Uh, I think it was Craigslist ad. I think to pass, you have to put like a square into a square hole. I think they might have failed that. I'm not sure. When they recognize what clinch is on a sign, they, they might just like cry and panic a bit. I don't know. I can't, I can't tell what judges look at here anymore. You just want to find Leslie somebody. Steiner just staring at me in disgust because I can't shut my mouth. Ideally, you want to find somebody who knows the difference between a wrist lock and a wrist watch if you put both on them <laughs> at the same time. But I don't think any of these judges really, quite frankly. I think these guys might believe in like the. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to believe anymore. <laughs> these judges are making me lose my faith. All right, so round two about to get underway here. Omar Hassan. The Sudanese Aiden striker right back to versus Aiden stiff Chester. Jab. Aiden coming back with a power off the bat, big overhead. Oh yeah, Aiden just just now fighting like a man possessed in the second round. Feeling like he needs it after that last round, I think. Ooh, the kick game from Omer, just not slowing down, keeping Aiden's punch game at bay. Ooh, kicking Aiden's leg out, he's starting to lose balance on it. Omer with the with the question mark kicks. Aiden is a tough kid, man. He's one of those kids you got to put him out on his shield, man. He's going to keep fighting. Yeah, he definitely has that look about him when he's in the ring. And you can't, you know, you can be as tough as you want to be, but you can't tough body kicks yeah, forever. He's, and he's still having a hard time. He, he wants to find that right hand, but Omer's kick game. That range is so hard to deal with. Every time and it that, is just every time, just flick, yep. flick, flick. More than one kick at a time. Anytime the hands move away from the body, oh, and then that kick he's just there. right back up. Yeah. Ooh. God, Ooh. there's another one. You can see the redness now on the side it's of Aiden Chester's to, it, yeah, body. There's, and I wonder how many more rounds of this that Aiden could be taken to the body and those legs, man. Thanks Ooh. to the blisteringly high quality Fast video high that kick. we have here at Fight For It, you can actually see the redness on the, on the body there. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh, he got him in the cup again. Big strike to the cup that time. So one thing I will point out, uh, Omer is looking down at what he's kicking. And I'll tell you this, if you look at what you're going to kick, you're going to miss. If you keep your eyes on the chest like in boxing, guess what's always below it? The leg. If you know your range, you can touch, that leg is going to be right there. So him looking at that kick, he's not allowing his body to open up all the way, so he's kind of pulling that kick back, and it's finding that groin. I've been hitting the groin a lot. <laughs> Aiden Chester taking his time here, no problem. Those kicks hurt when they're to the ribs. Can't imagine how much they hurt to other more sensitive areas. Oh, right back to that body. He's sneaking it through every time. He's got the Sanchez shuffle to a jump knee. Fast question mark to get. Once again, a long switch kick. Hands for oh, Omer in the corner. Son, lighten him up. He wants that title. Ooh, body kick, body kick, body kick again. Ooh, Omer Hassan with kick after kick. Advertise his skills in the pre-fight breakdown of this uh, of this card, we said that that was a deadly weapon for him, that he could throw it to the leg, the body, the head, lightning fast. He's proven it. Man, really impressed. And once again, and, and Omar is someone that you and I keep talking about after every fight card. And the one time thing we are talking about are his kicks, man. Yes. Just effortless. Just absolutely effortless. His kicks. Good. All right, final round, or no, they've got five rounds because it's a title fight. Round three now for Omar Hassan versus Aiden Chester. Omar attacking right into the clinch this time. Aiden coming back, heavy hands. 
Omar floating away to the ropes, loaded up big kick to keep range, reestablish that middle. I, Omar, Omar lost Ooh. that decision to Jordan Fox, and I honestly feel like a lot of it had to do with was with the showmanship of Jordan Fox. Oh yeah. And I think that Omar has picked up some of that and is now has a little bit of showmanship of his own to show that he's dominating this fight. Like, just but he, he's he does active. it at the right time. He does it just outside of kick range. Yes. And he makes that person flinch and react. So that makes that person pull in or out, and he's measuring that range from those cells. So he's his showmanship is paying off well for the faint game on the outside. Yeah, 100%. Great feints. hands, yeah. Ooh, oh, big kick to the body there. Slick, just right up and in. Ooh, big leg kick again. Omar Hassan now is abusing the body of Aiden Chester. Ooh, Aiden big. Chester lands a big leg, leg kick of his own. Oh, Aiden with the spinning back fist. I thought he was wobbled for a second, but just Omar now balance. just slipping outside, staying outside, rolling with those punches, making Aiden just miss by a little bit. He's just hanging out right on the outside. I'm impressed that Omar is still landing kicks at a close range. He lands them long and short. That's hard He's to do. He's very accurate. Yeah. He doesn't fight in the clinch too much, but he, he'll tie up enough, and he'll fire off those kicks instead of knees up close. It's It keeps him in control if that person wants to clinch or not. I'm, I'm impressed with that kick game. Nice knee there from Aiden Chester, but he needs a lot more than that if he's going to get back in this fight. <laughs> Aiden still in this fight as we head into the championship rounds. Ooh. Oh, oh big, big body strike kick. there from Omar Hassan to finish things off. That body kick has just been there for him every single time. Every single time. Ladies and gentlemen, we are moving into the championship round. Keep these guys going. You know, Elias Elias Briley was saying that he thinks that I saw he, the yeah. shoulder was dislocated, and I was paying attention more that round. And it seemed who, like who they're calling it on. Uh, good good look out uh, for the uh, young champ himself, uh, Elias, Omer. Right, uh, Elias Riley. Uh, Omer, uh, he believes that Omar's shoulder was dislocated, and now that I'm paying attention, I don't think that he's been uh, fighting uh, with it, uh, throwing it. Uh, Miss Mazel, Roland is actually fighting next. Uh, thank you for tuning into the stream. He will be the oh, next Mama fight. Mizzell. Oh, stuck on the ropes right there to get this round started. The redness on the body of Ugh. Ooh, really Aiden showing. Chester tells the whole story of this fight. Ooh, jump kick. Ooh, oh, big right hand. He had him worried about the body and he went did. up top. He made Aiden hesitate and made him pay. Guest appearance from John Shell over here. Well known black belt, amateur MMA fighter as well. Homer just says, Come on, man. He kicks him in the oh, leg. Yep. Says, oh, man. that double kick again. Oh, that oh body the shot. body shot. He followed up with that hook to the body. Homer Hassan is going to take a quick that. break. Man, let's see how he follows back up, man. That was a beautiful, he went left leg to the body. You know, big hook, big jumping knee. You know what's coming Ooh, here. He's starting to flurry, knees, body shots. Aiden staying tight to that body. Omar just staying all over him. Ooh, body shot, body shot again. Oh, he's body trying to shot. cover Ooh. the body up. He's got a long, another round of this if he's yeah. gonna sit through this. 30 seconds is a long time when your body hurts. Oh, five seconds is a long time when your body hurts. Oh, he's got to be so again, careful. Fainting again, push. He's got to be ropes. so careful not to get finished here. Ooh, he's, ooh. Aiden returning heavy ropes. Oh, oh, he's handcuffed. It happens. Five seconds left. Ooh, good job finishing that body kick. Man, I cannot believe Aiden survived that round. He crumpled under that body kick.
I mean, hey, just keep, uh, you know what? When a fighter's ahead like that, he really doesn't feel that urge maybe go in for that finish or that hard kill right now. You know, he saw that he's been ahead every round. He got that drop. I think he's he's going to be coasting to that. I mean, when I say coasting, Omar Hassan coasting means that you're going to kick 60 times. That's him coasting. So he's got that in the tank, and he knows that he's got a chicken in his armor right now. So he, he's going to be keeping that pressure on, and if he gets the finish to happen, he's happy. If he gets the decision, he's happy. Right now, he's got control of the fight. Omar Hassan, one round away from becoming the champion here at Fight For It. Finally, it seems like it's a little overdue for him, honestly. He had those fights at 145. Looked like he was going to maybe challenge Cliff Gunderson for the title. I'd love to see him versus oh, Cliff. Oh, man, yeah. Ooh, ooh, that body kick It's again. already Double starting. Bar. Yeah, oh, jump knee. Just repeating hand combinations of the body, going back up top to the clinch. Knees from Omer, not seeing much of this fight. Exit with a punch. Ooh. Yeah, he's so worried about the body strikes that he's just taking a bunch of damage to the head. Uh, not what you want to do. But look at Aiden still stepping forward, Yeah, he's man. such a tough kid. Like I said, he ha he, he's going to go out on his shield, man. If he's going to go out, it's on his terms, and that means his shield. Swinging and missing, small misses. Floating back out, Ooh, body kick again. Bats into the middle. Oh, body oh, head. Hassan with a Inside big strike. Crescent kick to the body. This is an impressive performance. This oh, is just man. a beat down. Ooh, body shot again. Body head, clinch to the, oh, knee from Aiden. Slow him down a little bit. Jumping right back into that pocket. Boom, big shot from Aiden. Omer just coasting less than a minute left in this round. Not really anxious for the finish. He's been so dominant. Well, so when far. you look at it, man, like you're still walking into power punches from Aiden. You don't want to. Oh, yeah, he's still dangerous. Damage. He's still dangerous for sure. Omer Hassan gripping at the double leg. Ref having a little bit of trouble separating them. Omar Hassan with some words. They're both just keeping, just keeping control of what let they have the ring right now. Final flu, few flurries of this fight. Double jump kick again by Omer. Oh, oh. big shot there from Dave Chester at the end of the fight. Omar Hassan with a dominant, dominant. performance. Dominant One-sided beat down there. I mean, according to MC judging, it might be a bit closer to what we saw. It might be a split but, decision. Yeah, it probably will be. No more robbery. No more fucking robbery. Shut up. Hands We have a unanimous decision. After five hard fought rounds, your winner and the new 135 title holder out of the red corner, Omer Omeo Hassan. Well earned victory there for Omer Hassan. Put the belt on that man. 135 pound champion at last. Like I said, I this would love. This fight was love. brought to you by Anger Management. Go see them on the side right now. I would love, love, love to see him versus Cliff Gunderson. I think that's a awesome fight. At 145 pounds. I'm with a victorious Omar Hassan. Omar, 
as a as a novice observer here, you were control the whole fight, and it looked like dominating. you were ha dominating. It looked like you were having fun out there. Yes, was this fun for you? Yes, sir. This was very very fun. I came here excited, ready to go, and uh, yeah, I got the the, the the victory. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Domination. What 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 was the added benefit? I know last time they had a fight, you weren't. If I'm correct, you weren't able to fight a gentleman uh, uh, yeah, outside. Juan, Juan Morales. Yeah. So uh, yeah, he uh, he passed out right before we were supposed to go out. You know, and uh, that's no that's no problem. You know, because this is the amateurs. You get nervous and stuff. And a uh, shout out to uh, Juan. You're a tough warrior. I hope you come back. But yeah. Was there any added benefit to get back in here? And, and obviously it's a title fight, but any mo added more motivation for it? Yes, uh, so I came in here very, very motivated because the last fight I was robbed, you know, I felt, I felt like I was robbed. If you leave it to the, to the judges, you should never like speak this way, but you know, like I'm, I'm still like a fighter, you know, I'm, I'm still like, I see stuff and I see myself like doing doing good in the fight, you know, that kind of gets gets to me a little bit, so that was what kind of like motivated me. I should have gotten that W, but I mean, oh well, if I, if I didn't want to get robbed, then I should have finished. But I came here tonight to make sure that I put on a show. Either I finish him, I dominated him completely, and that's exactly what I did. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes, you, sir. Got, you got a little uh, bling bling to go with it right there. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Well deserved. The 135 pound champion, the fight for it, the very first. Shout out to uh, Marcelo. Shout out to. Uh, to uh, Mike Harris, my trainer, Stephen Coble, uh, everybody at the at the Octagon Greensboro. Shout out to Coach Lamont, Coach uh, Coach David, everybody there. Shout out to all my friends. Thank you so much uh, for the help. And uh, yeah, thank you very much, everybody. Can I get in a couple words too? If, if you're not done asking me questions. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, huh. alaykum wa ta'ala wa barakatuh. Ana ismi Umar Wahbi, Ibet Hassan Al-Himadi, min Sudan, min Dungula Al-Silam. وعايز احيي الشعب السوداني كل السودانيين في كل انحاء العالم وبقول لكم شكرا جزيلا للتشجيع وعايز اقول لكم احنا مع حكومه حمدوك مدنيه للاخر يحيى نسيت عايز اقول شنو اه عايز احيي ابوي ربنا يديه الصحه والعافيه وهب عبيد حسن الحمادي اهالي كلهم الحماديه اهالي كلهم في مدني وعايز اقول لكم شكرا جزيلا شكرا 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 وتابعوني في في الانستغرام @oomiodadan that's o m w i y o t h e d o n oomiodadan everybody follow me on instagram oomiodadan i just spelled it out thank you so much Omar, I, th I think you just conducted your own interview yes, right sir, there. Yes, right. You, know, you, 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 got, you got a title belt. belt. And yes. he's a one-man interview. Congratulations. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.